Hello and welcome to Matsay TV here at Step Aside ETSS. We're your hosts for the year, Ross and Fergo. Okay, welcome to Steam HQ Studios. This is the difference of two squares. Take two. Take one was cancelled due to a dodgy pen. Before we start, let's underline some key bits. Difference, two, and squares. If you're thinking mathematically, the difference suggests minus. Something squared suggests that it's squared. And two suggests that there's not one, but two of them. So, let's get going. Difference of two squares. Here we go. Double check. Difference. Oh yeah, we said that's a minus. Check. We got that. Squared. We said that'll be here, and it is. So it is the difference of two squares. So what we do is we take the first number, which in this case is x squared. Get the square root of x squared. What by what gives you x squared? The answer is x. Square root of y squared is y. That leave x minus y. In the second bracket, what we have is x plus y. That's it. Job done. 100%. Correct. But just to show you, the reason that this is a simplification, the reason that we know that it's correct, is we could double check. We could go back to x minus y and x plus y. And brackets mean multiply, so let's multiply them by each other. x minus y at the top and x plus y down the side. Okay, x by x is x squared, x by minus y is minus xy, x by y is xy, and minus y by y is minus y squared. And on the left that gives us x squared minus xy plus xy, minus y squared minus xy and plus xy. Minus something plus the same thing will give you zero. So I'm left with x squared minus y squared back to what we had at the start. Proof that difference of two squares works. Next up, difference of two and squares. Difference in one square and a second square. Okay, so we know that we're on the right track immediately. Let's keep going. 9x squared, so we get the square root of 9 first, that's 3. Square root of x squared, that's x. And minus, square root of 16 is 4. Square root of y squared is y. We always need to have the same in the second bracket, except in this case it's plus 4y. If you only have one half and not the second, you're not getting the marks. The reason it's there is if you try to work it out, multiply it out, without having the second bracket there, you wouldn't get back to what you had at the start. So you need to have both to be correct. Let's keep going. Okay, we skipped to there. Oh, maybe not. Uh, this is a slightly more complicated example. But we have difference, yeah. And we have two squared. We have something squared here and something squared here. So there we go, we're on the right track. 64, square root of 64, so what by what gives you 64? You can use your calculator if you like. 8, square root of a squared is a, and the square root of b squared is b. Minus, square root of 169 is 13, square root of c squared is c, and d squared is d. Good start, but it's difference of two squares, you need two brackets, keep going. In the second bracket, it's the exact same thing, except we have a minus. You can try it out to check that you're right, but if you're confident, like I think I am, you're sorted. Okay, slightly harder one, difference, gotcha. Squares, gotcha, and two of them. Gotcha. The only thing is, this one and this one don't have square roots. What by what gives you 20? Not a whole number. So actually you have to do a little bit of simplification here first. So we can look at 20 and 45, which are the main numbers we have in this case. If you look at 20 and 45, 5 will go into both. 
So let's divide 5 into both. 20 divided by 5 leaves us with 4. And minus 45b squared divided by 5 will give us 9b squared with a minus. So now we're looking at two numbers inside, both of which have square roots. Okay, so let's just work through that as normal, getting our squares, being careful of our pluses and our minuses, and making sure that we fill in the second bracket with a plus. Very similar to the first ones, but actually it is a mix of the common factor as well. You need to take a common factor out of each to leave you with numbers, which when you get a square root, they give you a whole number. Sorted, I hope. On to the last one. Oh, forgot to write the last one down here. So let's go with 32x squared minus 50y squared. Okay, so difference gotcha. Oh, we have two squares. Uh, let's go with a red pen this time. So we're sorted, but these numbers don't have square roots that are whole numbers. What do we do? Oh yeah. Let's look for a common factor. So 2 will go to both 32 and 50. So let's try that. We'll give it a go. So we're left with 16x squared. When we divide 32 by 2. Minus 25y squared. When we divide 50 by 2. So now we're looking good. Because 16 is the square root 4. And x squared's square root is x. 25 has a square root which is 5. And y squared is y. 4x minus y, and in the second one, we'll have 4x plus y. The secret to difference of two squares is there will be a minus. There will be two squares, and both numbers or letters that are there will have a whole number square root. Or else, there'll be a common factor. When you divide each by that, you'll be left with a number which has a whole number as its square root. There you have it. Difference of two squares. I hope it's a help. Talk to you next time. And that's it for Matt's ATV this week. Hope it was a help, and don't be afraid to ask questions. And don't forget, we've got a weekly math challenge. Correct answers, honest list, will get you a thumbs up, plus five.